Welcome to our Open Day show for the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Southampton. It will give you the information you need to make that important decision about your university choice. And I'm delighted to have the opportunity to tell you about our school. So I'm Lindy Holden Dye. I'm Professor of Neuroscience and I'm Head of School of Biological Sciences. And together with colleagues, we're going to take you through a student journey um, in our school. So what it would be like if you came here and you progressed from year one all the way through to graduation and beyond. Let's start with some introductions. So on this slide, we also have Alan Marchant. Um, he is our director of programs. He's a plant scientist and he's interested in molecular aspects of plant cell wall and root development. We also have Mark Caldwell. He is our deputy head of school for education. He's a biochemist and he's interested in the processes of gene translation and how proteins are made in the cell. And we also have Amrit Mudder and she's a neuroscientist. She is interested in neurodegeneration and in particular in Alzheimer's disease, which of course I'm sure you realise is a devastating condition. So she does important work trying to understand the mechanisms of neurodegeneration and how they might be ameliorated. I realise there are a lot of things that you will be weighing up as you make your decision. This is the Life Sciences Building. It's situated on the Highfield campus at the heart of the university. It's our home essentially, and it's where the vast majority of academic staff of biological sciences are based, where students can meet their tutors and have their practical classes. It also houses our research facilities, the vast majority of our research facilities, where students may do their practical based third and fourth year projects. Um, it was opened in 2010 and represents a major investment of the University in Life Sciences. We also have labs at the Southampton General Hospital, so that's for colleagues who are very closely aligned with Faculty of Medicine working in the biomedical sciences arena, and so students may also spend some time up there. It's just a couple of miles away, um, easily accessible by bus, um, and students doing, let's say, third and fourth year projects may be um, assigned to supervisors at the Southampton General Hospital. So it provides a really nice experience for those students who are really interested in clinically facing biological sciences. If you choose to come to Southampton, you will be taught in an environment where research and education genuinely do go hand in hand. Southampton is a Russell Group University. That means it belongs to an elite group of research intensive universities that are key to global challenges of the 21st century. You need to think about what this would mean for you and would it suit you. Um, what it means is that you'll actually be taught by experts in their field. So our researchers are passionate about their research and they love to share their passion um, with our undergraduate students. So individuals like Amrit, for example, working on Alzheimer's disease, she will be teaching our students about neuroscience. I love to share um, my passion for pharmacology with our second and third year students. I get involved with the practical classes. So all of our researchers are engaged with our education and that really flavours the environment that you're taught in. This will stretch and challenge you and it will also give you access to some fantastic equipment and labs which becomes very relevant in the third and fourth year if you choose to undertake a, a practical lab project um, as part of your degree programme. And if you think about it, when you come to university, you're going to have to work hard um, to obtain your degrees. And it's easier to work hard if you're fascinated by the topics you're studying. Um, so this will motivate you to work hard and to succeed. Congratulations. You're starting your journey to graduation today. This is the first step of your journey. And the next few steps will be starting to think about what course you want to do and what university you want to do this course at. OK, so the first step on this journey is to, first of all, think about the course that you want to do. You've all done biology or chemistry at GCSE, but do you really know what a degree in biological sciences is all about? Well, broadly speaking, a degree in biological sciences is about the study of life. It's about the study of life at the level of the molecules found within cells, how those cells make up tissues and organs, how those tissues and organs come together to form systems, how those systems operate in an organism, how that organism interacts with other organisms and with its environment. That's what biological sciences is. 
If you're interested in all of these topics, but from the human biology perspective, then our degree programs in biomedical sciences, in biochemistry, in pharmacology and in neurosciences may be of interest to you. But if you are more keen on learning about this from a plant and animal perspective, then our degree programs in biology and zoology perhaps are more for you. All of these degree programs are offered mostly either as a three-year bachelor's program or a four-year master's program. The only exception being pharmacology, which is offered only as a three-year bachelor's, and neurosciences, which is offered only as a four-year integrated master's neuroscience. You can learn more about the material that's covered in these degree programmes if you follow this QR code. Right, you've chosen the degree programme you want to study. What's the second step? You think that the programme that we offer is exciting and interesting, so you apply to us. We read your personal statement and we then decide whether or not you're suited to our course based on this personal statement, so do write it carefully. There's a hint as to how you can do that uh, in that uh, PDF uh, called Demonstrate Your Ambition, which is the thumbnail of that is on the uh, on this slide. So you apply to us if we uh, want to make you an offer based on your personal statement. We'll expect you to get two A's and a B if you've applied for the bachelor's programme or three A's if you've applied for the master's programme. We, of course, also make contextual offers. If you accept our offer and you put us down as your first choice, you have the advantage in that if you don't get the grades that you quite that you wanted, um, we would still prioritise you if you missed by one or two grades, um, if there are places available when your results come out. So all well and good, you get your grades and you arrive in Southampton. The third step in this journey, you've come to Southampton and your degree is beginning. What happens in that first week? So we are very proud of the pastoral care system that we have in place, as well as a lot of other support networks that are there to nurture you and to support you and essentially enable you to achieve the ambitions you set yourself. This personal tutorial system that we have in place is one whereby you're assigned a tutor in the first year, in the first week that you get here. This individual becomes your mentor, your guide for the duration of your degree, but they really get to know you in the first uh, year of your degree programme. You see them regularly through tutorials and they essentially teach you some generic and some transferable skills. And then in your second, third and fourth year, they're there to guide you and advise you. After you leave, of course, they'll also be writing your reference. Again, there's a link here that can take you to some YouTube playlists where you can hear interviews from personal tutors and you can learn more about this pastoral care support we have in place. Hello, my name's Alan Marchant. I'm the Director of Programmes in Biological Sciences and I'm going to tell you a bit about what you can expect in years one and two on our degree. In your first year at Southampton, you'll be taught across a wide range of topics to build a solid foundation that will allow you to then become more specialised in years two and three. You will look at the components making up cells and how these cells interact and function in organs. You will discover how organisms function and how they interact in ecosystems. We'll teach you how to design and analyse experiments to test hypotheses. And as well as taught lectures, you will gain hands-on experience through lab and field practicals and workshops. A week-long lab project or residential field course after Easter in Year 1 will provide an opportunity to put what you have learned into practice. You will also have tutorials with your personal academic tutor every other week during the first year. You'll be able to become more specialised in the second year through selection of optional modules. And the number of optional modules that you can choose will be dependent on your degree programme. You will also have some other decisions to make. Do you switch between a three-year BSc and a four-year integrated master's programme, for example? Do you opt for a more general degree such as biology or biomedical sciences or one of the more specialised degrees? The common modules taught in year one across all of the degree programmes allow flexibility to switch between programmes and your personal academic tutor can help in you, you making these decisions. The second year will further develop your knowledge and practical skills as well as your ability to design experiments, analyse data and communicate findings. There are a wide range of options to choose from in year two, 
You can note how understanding of the three-dimensional structure of proteins can allow for tailored drug design. You can learn how progress in understanding of immunology is allowing treatments against cancer to be designed. We'll teach you about progress in making replacement body parts using 3D printing and how plant biotechnology is being used to make a range of products from plastics and biofuels through to improved crops to feed an ever-growing population. As well as modules from biological sciences, you'll also be able to choose modules in other subject areas. We also have other opportunities during the second year. One of the Every year a number of our students will do a summer placement between their second and third years. These are often funded by scientific societies such as the Alzheimer's Society or Biochemical Society. This again provides an excellent opportunity to gain valuable hands-on experience and contribute to ongoing research, which can lead to you being an author on a published paper. A further option is to do a year in employment between years two and three. We have links with a number of companies and organisations across a range of disciplines where our students have done placements in the past. This provides valuable experience and can play a big part in deciding what career path is best for you. Hi, I'm Mark and I want to tell you how we're going to take those first couple of years of learning that you've done and show you how we can really put it into practice in the third or maybe even fourth year of your degree. So by the time you get to third year, you'll have some real good ideas about where you want to specialise in your own particular degree programme. And what you'll be doing there is choosing modules that allow you to be lectured by scientists that specialise in research in their international fields. The research in the biological sciences is split into seven research themes, and I in particular am a molecular cell biologist because I'm interested in gene expression. The different research themes that we have really speak to the modules we have in the third year. And when you're in a specialised degree like biochemistry or zoology, we pick modules on your behalf to say that these are the ones that make you into that kind of scientist. If you're a biologist or a biomedical scientist, then you have a much broader overview and a much wider range of choices as well. Again, you can take modules outside of biological sciences to keep a broader experience, something like a language, and more information about our module options is available online. One of the key parts of our third year is your independent research project. Now this takes up 25% of your time and 25% of your marks, and you can see we have a wide range of different projects that people can do. As well as standard things like you might expect, like a laboratory or field project, we also have ones which really answer the, the uh, careers needs of our students um, going forward. We look at big data in terms of in silico projects, so how can we look at human genomes, for example. We show students things like bioscience business pipelines, so how do you do a clinical trial, how do you design a drug for a particular pathway. Education talks about how students can take a scientific idea at a very high degree level and then communicate it to students of different ages. And then of course we have science communication which is needed for the whole general public and bioethics which really gets involved in how we have to make difficult choices about the technologies we can use, uh, for example, CRISPR gene editing. All of these different projects build your skills in management, communication and allow you to acquire data and analyse that and show you how to work as a team as you go forward into your own careers. And also all those projects do contribute to our own research themes as well. You've got a set of vid YouTube videos if you want to go to the QR code which tells you about the different projects we have. So one really exciting outcome from these third year projects is that our students often become authors on publications and that shows just how involved our students are getting in our research as we are at the cutting edge. And students who carry on for a fourth year will graduate with an MSI degree and here we are even more focused on the research. 50% of that year is a research project and the other 50% is, is taking in-depth techniques focused modules. Now as mentioned before we do have a higher entry requirement for these um, degrees but also we can will still recruit you to BSc if you miss your master's offer and while you're here with us there are many opportunities to switch between the BSc and the Masters or vice versa during the course. And again, we have a playlist uh, that talks about the fourth year projects and where, where our students are really getting involved in our cutting edge research. Hello again. I'm just going to finish off the show now by recapping some of the things you might like to consider when making your university choice. So why Southampton? Well, you won't know what it's like to study a topic at university until you start studying it. Um, so it's important you have the ability to change your pathway a bit when you get into your degree programmes. And we have flexibility built into our programmes that gives you that opportunity. So we have common modules in the first year. That means you're not committed to a specific degree from day one. 
we have a wide range of modules available as well. As I said, we have a broad range of research interests in the school, everything from ecology and evolution and biodiversity through to um, biomedical sciences with hardcore molecular and cellular bioscience in the middle. So you can, you can choose something that suits your interests. You can also select some modules outside of biological sciences, so you can um, study some psychology, computer science, as long as it fits in with your timetable, there's lots of opportunities there for you to extend your interests. We have a range of third year research project options, and you also have the ability to continue into the master's programmes if you want to extend your studies and stay on for a fourth year. Our degree programme sets students up for a rewarding career in a broad range of fields, everything from conservation through to medicine. Many of our students choose to go on to further study and specialise in their area of interests through um, study at master's level or PhDs. We've had students go into the NHS science, scientist training programme. So there are lots of opportunities there and you may well not know what you want to do when you um, come to university, you're just going to study a, a discipline that fascinates you, but you will get the advice that you need to set you on the career path um, when you graduate. And as I say, there's, there's lots of opportunities there. And as I said at the beginning, there's never been a better study time, to, in my view, to study biological sciences at university. And we also have an arrangement with the Faculty of Medicine. And um, if you're interested in going on to study for a medical degree following graduation, we have an uh, an arrangement that guarantees an interview um, for BM4. I said at the beginning that at Southampton we teach in a way that research and education go hand in hand and we do a great job of that and you don't have to take my word for it you can look at the results of the National Student Survey which shows fantastic um, satisfaction scores for our degree programmes and if you just like to note that in comparison the national average for university courses is 84% so we, we exceed that and we have 100% satisfaction rate in some of our degree programmes. So that concludes the show. We've led you through a student journey at Southampton from year one all the way through to graduation and beyond. I hope you found the information helpful. Um, I hope it helps you to take your first step. Good luck. <laughs>